Hey everyone, welcome again to my channel. Today I'm taking you with me to Aarschot again for uh, the event Art and Roots in the Woods. Um, but before we do that, if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome to Quill Scene. My name is Megan. If you like things that have to do with reading, with writing, with my writing adventures, uh, with magic, with geeky stuff, with all those things, you're in the right place. Make sure to click on the magical subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell because on that way you'll always get a notification whenever I upload something new. But yeah, um, time to put on our boots, though it wasn't muddy, but still, we're going to the forest. <laughs> So uh, the event is called Art and Roots in the Woods and um, yeah, as the name already implies, it is to do, it happens all in a forest. Um, well in the entrance actually of a forest because it's like, a, um, in, in Dutch we call it een dreef um, and it was in the Meetshovenbos in Aarschot. Um, and it's actually kind of like an, 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 a street almost, uh, but not for cars. So um, it's to, to um, walk and to bike and stuff like that. Um, but the um, road is sided by trees, of course, and it's like in the middle of a forest. Um, Art and Roots is also an event that we've been doing now for, I think, the third time it was this edition um and yeah it's always very cozy and uh, we always until now knock on wood um until now uh it was also every edition had a good weather which is also fun because we take our tent with us but still um being in a forest on a late summer day is way more fun than being in the forest when it rains and it's cold, especially when you have books, but still. Um, the uh, organization is actually um, a set of twin brothers. Um, the one works for, if I'm not mistaken, the cultural uh, department of Aarschot, while the other one uh, works for uh, nature and forest, if I'm not mistaken, which is like an instance yeah, a, a, an organization here in Belgium um, that um, yeah protects forest and nature on a bigger level. Um, so uh, yeah, um, it is a creative market. Um, we are the art site <laughs> and the woods is the location. Um, I have to say it's also a very dangerous event to go with my mom. Um, because there are a lot of people that sell uh, ceramics, but mostly ceramics, not like the plates and, and, and mugs and stuff like that, though they usually are there too. But more like the ones, the decorative ceramics, uh, the ones that can be used in the garden, for example. Um, and it proved to be a very dangerous event this time, but um, I'll tell you more about that. Um, but yeah, um, arts and art and roots is always um, on a Sunday uh, in 2023. It was on the third of September, and it was from 10 a.m. till 5 p.m. Um, it was in uh, het Meetshoven Bos in Aarschot, um, and it's always a mix of um, the art creative side um, of the market alongside. Um, uh, yeah, a stage where there is music, um, where there are concerts, but also there is a food truck. That is where, like, if you... So you have the road, <laughs> the entrance of the forest, the road, and then the road on the side is all um, boots for the creative market. Um, and then if you walk till the end of the road and then um, go right, I think, you uh, come out in a grass field, uh, where there are food trucks, where there is a, f um, a podium for concerts uh, and stuff like that. Um, but there are also like um, street music um, and musicians and singers that um, have like slots um, on at the side of the road between the boots, uh, which is also very vibing and uh, fun to listen to. Um, this edition I went with 
my books, um, but also with some potions and the witch balls of Magical Treasures, um, which is the side business that I have with my mom. Um, but also Matthias Mho, of course, went <laughs> along. He's my partner in crime for local events. Uh, with his books and what made it extra special, uh, Matthias's fiance, Amelin, um, she um, had just started up her own small little business um, called Sparks of Darkness and she makes beautiful um, gothic chic um, with a little bit of fantasy vibe um, candles. So, so she has like um, shaped candles like horses and unicorn skulls um, uh, cats too and stuff like that um, uh, uh, gorgeous candles but also um, aromatherapy candles so that are um, normal candles um, in a container with um, yeah a scent of roses or oranges or some, something like that um, and she had asked is it possible to you know join you uh, because then it will be my first event as Sparks of Darkness so uh, of course we said yes um, so uh, she joined our crew as well.
as you probably saw in the footage, um, there was also something new to our bookish stand, being that um, we um, got a book display made. Um, it's actually quite a story. <laughs> Um, we, among the writers of uh, the Writers Collective, the writing group that I have, we were um, like already talking for almost a year about finding a way to display our books in height because um, there were often events that where we each would have like half a table, which is like 90 centimeters, uh, which isn't much space. And um, back in the day when everyone had like one or maybe two books, that was easy. But now um, everyone, you know, their um, the books they wrote, there always comes one <laughs> extra, you know. Um, so now the 19 centimeters slash half table is getting a bit crowded. So we were thinking uh, we need a book display, but when you go Google it, um, on Amazon or whatever site, you get like these display things, but those are like very mainstream and not necessarily good for books. Um, so one day I went out shopping with my mom and during our shopping spree, we um, went to a local bistro to eat something. And um, on the placemats they had, um, they were filled like with ads of local businesses. And uh, one of the businesses was um, Pimple Boom, um, which is uh, funnily enough located like in the next village from where I live. Um, so we are basically neighbors. Um, and I saw that they did um, wood construction and uh, personal engraving. Um, so I was thinking like maybe I should, I, I also visit their website and I saw that they were thinking about um, making um, business displays and stuff like that. So I was thinking maybe I should, you know, email them, tell them I'm looking for a way to display my books. Can you guys help me? Because I don't find a mainstream, mainstream solution like that you can order from. Amazon or something, I'm pretty sure I need something made for me. Um, so they invited me to their office. I went there, I told them what uh, my vision was. I also said like I wanted book display to display my books, but also one that is as compact as possible um, because it has to, you know, be transported in the car. But our car is often filled with tents and tables already as it is. So um, please, as compact as possible. And uh, they made from scratch a uh, very smart, very compact um, yeah, um, ID for um, the book display. Um, they even made it so that we can personalize it. So we have each our name on top. Um, and my book display was a prototype. Um, I took it with me um, to show when, when it was finished, I went to pick it up. I made videos and pictures, put them in our group chat. Everyone was very enthusiastic. Um, and then every writer of our collective, um, yeah, also ordered one. So um, from now on, you will see our brand new book displays um, in a lot more <laughs> of our videos. Um, but yeah, that was new for us. Um, again, as I said, um, art and roots is very dangerous to go <laughs> with my mom because um, for since last summer, we've been also doing um, work in our garden. Um, our entire garden is actually reshaped from scratch. Uh, we had like a garden architect on it. Um, but um, ever since that, even before that, my mom um, loves things to put in her garden. And uh, one of, like, I think even she was our neighbor, if I'm not mistaken, or a neighbor next, like two tables down, um, was a person who made um, ceramics, as I said in my uh, earlier on. My mom has a weakness for ceramics, especially if it's decorative ceramics. Um, and this woman made like ceramic um, flowers um, on like metal 
um, rods that you could put in your garden between your flowers or bushes or something. So my mom bought, if I'm not mistaken, five of those. She asked me, can you give me money? I gave her money. I said, don't, uh, you, you don't have, you know, to, to um, finish it all, but she finished it all. Oh well, um, and then <laughs> I, I uh, normally you saw it in the footage, but I'll put a picture right here somewhere. But um, one moment um, she was pulling at my sleeve and she said, Max, please come with me. I need to show you something. And uh, a few meters from our booth was a person who made gorgeous statues from metal. And they were very beautiful. And she pointed out a statue uh, named Dancing in the Wind. And she was like, that would look so beautiful in our new garden. Um, and yeah, um, I figured, you know, if she likes it. Uh, so um, we talked to the person who made uh, the statue. And he um, even gave us some, because we were also a vendor, he gave us like a small discount um, on the statue but yeah we bought the statue and now it's in our garden um, again I can't show you the garden now in real life um, because it's as I'm filming this it's already dark same with the ceramic flowers because they are also outside um, but yeah that were the things we bought <laughs> um, overall it was again a very fun event because it was very chill um, as I said, it was nice weather and then, you know, sitting under the trees in the forest all day. What else can you ask? Um, we, there were some readers, not too many, but still, we've, we sold a few books. Um, what made me extra happy was um, that uh, Emmeline from Sparks of Darkness um, had a really good sale. Uh, a lot of people were interested in her candles, um, even some of the vendors. Um, so she had a very good experience with her very first event ever. Um, so she left home with quite some candles sold. So uh, that was very fun. And uh, yeah, I can't wait for the edition of 2024 because as I said, Again, it's one of the most chill. It's like Lights of Aarschot in Aarschot. It's very chill, very laid back. It's kind of like, a, though you are there for, you know, as a vendor to sell your goods, it's like an ah, event. It's like a breather uh, f between the, the, the business of the other events. So, um, yeah, I really hope that uh, we can go again uh, in 2024. And again, knock on wood, fingers crossed and toes crossed. Um, that it's again a nice summer day, well, late summer day, um, because as I said, forest is fun as long as it doesn't rain. Um, so yeah, uh, that was it already for this video. Um, if you like this video, please give it a little thumbs up or let a comment, leave a comment down below or the boat. Um, I love your feedback and plus it helps my channel grow. And hopefully I see you guys uh, soon for another bookish, magical, probably on the go video. Bye.